new at six, chalk and concrete. Sounds like child's play, but this got serious. Students battled it out on the sidewalk at the University of Maryland this week. A former student wrote pro-deportation messages in front of the student union. But here's Michael Quander with how some students fought back. Now, the chalk is washed away, but many of the messages are still sticking with a lot of the students here. Messages, a lot of them hope they'll never have to see on their campus again. I guess, yeah. It's very clear. I would have written uh, my body, my choice. Students at the University of Maryland have strong opinions. We live in a day in a society where we just have so much resentment towards groups of people. It's getting really nice out. But Tuesday, things got ugly. It was pretty upsetting because I'm of Latin heritage. Students stumbled across pro-Trump messages chalked on the sidewalk. Hashtag my president snowflakes we won and CNN is fake news. The biggest one that I saw was deport dreamers. But even that is kind of a backward statement because they're dreamers. They're attaining their dreams. They're fighting for them like nothing's going to stop them. Members of the former student group Terps for Trump say this was a spur of the moment protest to the university's social justice day, a way for conservative students to have their voices heard too on a campus where they say it's not tolerated for them to speak out. I think it's important for people to uh, stand up for what they believe in, whichever, whatever your opinion is. But some students only saw this as hate speech and fired back with water and chalk of their own. Respect undocumented Terps and support dreamers. The school's president, Wallace Lowe, getting blasted on Twitter after referring to all of this as a debate and for students to keep the conversation going. Well, I wouldn't say it's a conversation because that's not a conversation. That's just writing something on the ground and walking away. There are people all around the world who don't have the opportunity to speak up for what they believe, and that's one of the great things about our country is that you can you know, freedom of speech, you can say what you want. Reporting in College Park, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. The university chose not to provide an official to talk about that so-called chalk war. The group that started all of this says it usually tries to keep its messages more positive.